Make we appreciate Honorable Gudaji Kazaure. Eh, when I say, no, we meet when I say he deserves standing ovation. Eh, eh, Honorable, please sit down, sir. Please, people wear escort and come. Make we find place manage. When I go hear things, we when I been no here before. And when I go here, the one we we when I been done here before, but this time around with better explanation, because that time when they talk him, people they doubt him. Now, now me no doubt him. People they doubt him. They say that man leave him. It's just a quote figures. Did it? 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 Honorable Gudaji Kazori, welcome to Breketa Family. Welcome, uh, Chairman. Good morning. Morning, sir. Thank you very much, uh, my respected uh, people here. I meet Mr. Chairman. No, I'm sir. And uh, the Freedom Fighter. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, you are one and only in this country. Allah, sir. Because the way I told you since that day when I came, I never went any, even in the International Assembly that we are representing people, collecting money from government. We never do what you are doing. Hmm. Because <laughs> you, you are treating people, even outsiders. Because I can see Cameroonian here, which is surprising me. So the thing, you are thing now past Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You are even going into the neighboring countries. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, sir. Thank you. But, Thank you, Chairman. Mm. Uh, I thank Almighty Allah for giving me opportunity to be here today. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, this is very important day to mm. me because I will talk three things. Mm -hmm. One, I came here, I exposed the Central Bank of Nigeria about the issue of 89 trillion naira. 89 trillion naira. 89 trillion naira. Which at that time, people, some people are even laughing at me, mm. saying that I don't even know what is money mm. and how this 89 trillion came from. Mm. We intend to continue our investigation mm. which I th after I left here they blocked me that is why I came here to see the president because president purposely intend to help this country to stop borrowing because the, we are running government with, with, with the through borrowing <laughs> and even this government hmm. if they didn't borrow 2023 budget is purposely uh, pass and approve 70 percent will be implemented through borrowing mm. only 30 percent government can afford ah, ah. to bring 70 percent is borrowing uh, is borrowing the present budget that is 2023. So, what the problem begin right from 2013. 2013. 2013. When the CBN created some policies, which later the policies become the way of diversion of the government revenue. Money. Mm. Revenue. Now, what surprised me, we can see the deputy CBN governor take over as acting CBN governor. That, CBN, that uh, act, deputy CBN governor, he, is, he, he left NIPS and became a, CBN, a deputy CBN governor by MAPLA. Oh, now Nips he been there before. He's in Nips. That is 
MPL brought him to Central Bank and made him a deputy governor. And all the money that we are suspecting and that is diverted is from NIPS. Mm. Because all the charges, 50% Naira stamp duty, that 100 Naira they are charging in each transaction above 5,000. In the bank. That is the 100 Naira bank are charging, which is they did 60 40 ratio. Which 40 used to go to the NIPS to Central Bank. 60 was retained by bank. And on the ground, they left 30 to bank. And 30 used to go to another private account in CBN. Hmm. So people uh, are surprised about the money. Go back and check the transaction. Everybody, every person used to buy the charge card. Recharge is one. Mm. You buy many things, you transfer money, POS, and others. The, that 20 Naira, 10 Naira, 20 Naira, 10 Naira charges, when you multiply it by millions a day, in three, four years, you can see more than 100 trillion. But the attention of people are not there. That mm. is why they are surprising about the amount when we mention it. Mm. Nigeria, as you said, my ordinary president, as you said, Nigeria is rich beyond people's expectation. Mm. Because few people can provide the 20 budget of this country. 20 years budget. Of few this, people few in this people country in this country can produce can produce the 20 years budget of this country one year two years 10 years 15 years 20, 20 years 20 years a few individuals, a few in, this individuals in this country can produce can produce yeah. the budget of this country the for, 20 for 20 years yeah. because we are talking about 89 trillion in only one place where people are not aware of yeah. Are not aware of some people are even arguing because they never uh, 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 even expect or think or imagine Im that way money would come. Mm. So, tactically, this country, as we see now, the present uh, pres president, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, as you said, he begin with actions and I saluted him because when we are doing this investigation mm. he personally called me he mm. asked me he told me that honorable I am aware of that money mm. that occurring in the central bank for years mm. he told me this in Saudi last Ramadan, uh, 2022 Ramadan, he told me he's aware and he asked me that hmm? I should come and brief him on all our investigation hmm. and he asked me to make a pile for him. Each and every paper we have, I should make a pile for him. That is why I believe he's serious because he's aware of this our investigation and this money even before he came to the office of the president. Mm. Now that 89 trillion which is the money diverted into a private account in the central bank when we intend to access the account in the central bank they block us when president muhammad buhari 
former president Muhammadu Buhari directed me to come and brief him in every Saturday night. They blocked me. At the villa? At the villa. They didn't allow you to see the president? They didn't even, even keep, even to answer my call in order to, to book an appointment. Book an appointment. The, Who will be the person we know they will pick your call? Which that is, you? that is the scoff, Lawal Kazauri. Because the president asked me who you want me to attach him with. Attach you with. So that any time you come, he will bring you. Lawal Kazauri is my elder brother. Mm. And I normally go to the president through him. Mm. So I don't want to change to another person. Mm. He will feel somehow. Mm. So you now say the same. I say the same Lawal Kazauri. Hmm. President told him that every week I'll come and brief him about this investigation. She said, okay. But when I left, he blocked me. Because when we invited, when we invite MFLA and detain him for some hours, when he left on administrative bail, he went and arranged in one way or the other to make sure that he blocked this our investigation hmm. and which sum up the people around the president they are beneficiaries of all this hmm. central bank money hmm. Hmm. because there are some people that are receiving two million three million dollars every month yeah yeah they are in his payroll Two million, three million dollars every month. That is why I say, hmm. if you, if maybe they send you money, you see, did, 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 did. So the type of alert is not the ordinary alert. It's a special alert. It's a millions of dollars. So what? is now why I'm happy. MPLA is now in detention. Mm. And he start talking. You know, say after you expose that thing, immediately they change the name from stamp duty to electronic something something. I don't forget. Immediately you come out from the studio that same day. Yes. Nine, they send messages mm -hmm. say that electro, uh, stamp duty is no longer stamp duty, it is not electronic. I don't forget where consultant I work. I go that day where I see that thing, I call and quickly I say, See what these people don't do. They changed the name. That is how they did. Because when the people are asking me, Where is 89 trillion? I told them, Let them go and ask Central Bank. How much is the total equity of the CVN? The total equity of the CVN is zero point something trillion. And the budget of this central bank before is 500 billion later of the in 2018, they make it one trillion. Then From the, 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 million, yeah, the following year, billion. they make it 1.3 trillion. Then the last year, they bring 2.4 trillion. Central bank's budget. Only budgets. To run the affairs of To Central run bank. the affairs. And that nobody. Something trillion naira. And nobody is checkmating them. Because the central bank will go and smuggle the Bofire 2020 Act and amend certain things. Even we legislators are not aware of. That they, amendment. And they amend them for National Assembly. They amend it. Maybe in the evening. When, when, when in the evening, like 20, 14 people remain, they will tell them that you should not go. So when the people left, oh. they can pass it oh. without knowledge of everybody. Because if it was debated, people will kill the, yeah. the, the would kill it. I hear say that amendment where they do, can't give a mayfell the central bank governor the power Naim be, he, he come become the board chairman of he's, central he's bank. He's a board chairman of the central bank and nobody checkmated him, no oversight. 
because he put the chairman house committee on banking and currency is blood brother from same local government from same constituency he put him as his chairman bank committee on banking and currency and after that he's a board chairman and he separated himself How from can you be central bank governor and be board chairman, and, board chairman. and he separated himself from even Telling Ministry of Finance anything, his, anything. Because no wonder him and Buhari can arrange where they change money, where they do that uh, that cashless uh, policy, where people die and suffer, where some people st still they suffer that thing up till now. If you can remember, I'm here when I take that they didn't change money, they never printed the money. They just painted the last batch of 2020 money that they print 2022 that they print the remaining 400 billion that they didn't receive is the ones they painted they, they just change the color and they remove the they, cha they, they, they charge 2.7 trillion for the printing of the money wait they charge 2.7 trillion naira to print to print 500 billion 400 billion and, and ask Nigerian today, mm. why is the new not? Missing in action. If they say they printed it, why is it now? Missing in action. So what they did is when we started this investigation, they are aware. Because amicably, I invited Sergeant House of Lagos, the close ally to the MFLS, Amin Yaru. I invited him, he came to my house. Mm. I showed him the documents and I told him in a few days I will meet the president and we will set up a committee to investigate this issue. Advise your man, that is the civilian governor, to open stamp duty central account to move that all that money in a secret hidden account so that we will go and meet the president who will not borrow money to implement the budget Allah, sorry, oh, oh. i don't want to do something that he will say i disgrace him mm. go amicably and told him he called the civilian governor in my present through whatsapp call he gave me the phone after we greet each other. MFLA told me that honorable that school of banking honors that they are investigations, they are they are they are broad. Hmm. Leave them. Hmm. Just talk to your brain. Come let talk. Can I invoice with that? Yeah. That yeah. is how he told me. Mm. <laughs> so honorable. Mm. You know you are my friend. Mm -mm. Just come with this cause. Forget with that banking and honors that they are brought. I told him, Mr. Governor, I am here with the documents for School of Banking Honors approved with the signature and approval of the President Muhammad Bahari as sole uh, uh, stamp duty agent of the federal government. And I can see they have a copyright on stamp duty because they are the one who did the research in 2012, brought the research to the federal government. And they quickly go and do research, copyright so that nobody will hijack their intellectual ideas. People they talk say why you they is serious they protect this um what the name of the the organization we just School of Banking Honors. School of Banking Honors. Yeah. So they say the reason why you serious about this matter now because the School of Banking Honors promise you money at the end of the day. Now uh, School of Banking Honors is a I meet them I never talk money about them. Hmm, what them. Is, what make me to be part of them is the assignments they brought to me and they asked me if I involve the president and we get that power, we will solve the nation debt, we will stop borrowing hmm. and we will bring stamp duty as 
national five years national development plan only from stamp duty only from stamp duty nigerian government will stop borrowing money will stop borrowing money nigeria na, they will bring and we will now. reduce that we will gradually settle the debt yes and the, then do and, five years budget. and then we plan a five-year development goals so that even even without money. even without oil we can survive survive Consultant Eric, waiting be the name of their thing where they change from stamp duty to electronic something. Electronic money transfer fee. And uh, see me it be now, it means say uh, there is nothing like stamp duty again. Mm. But the question is the one where they've been collecting the name of stamp duty. Where are they? Where are they? So waiting make them come stop them. Still they collect the money, but mm. change the name. Mm. Because when that matter come, I've been talk with some senior advocates about them. Mm. Make at least see, make we see whether it the, they impossible the, the, to go to court and say, why will you change this tax mm. that government talks say, make them they collect from people where do transactions mm. as stamp duty, from stamp duty to another name, will be another accounting subhead. So why will you change it? And what are the implications of the change? change so some of them they showed me a law like waiting you talk now honorable yeah. talk now where they say somewhere along the line they don't already go make law ahead of time gazette and say the stamp duty fees where people they pay on their banking transactions have now changed to electronic money transfer fees of which normally in most places you can have electronic money transfer fees. Fee is not the same as duty, which is a tax that is paid to government. And you can have stamp duty, which people pay on their transactions, and government will generate revenue from there. Honorable. So what uh, I want to people to understand about the 89 trillion we are talking last, When the CBN governor total equity, the CBN uh, bank, uh, central bank total equity is zero point something trillion. Mm. When you add the budget of the central bank 2.4 trillion, it's less than three trillion. Mm. So where central bank get 23.4 trillion that they borrowed to banks? Central Bank borrowed 23.4 trillion to banks. Mm. So where they get the money? Where they get the money? Somebody with the total equity and budget of less than 3 trillion. How he get 23.4 trillion he borrowed bank? Maybe they print them. That is one. Secondly, there is 13 trillion. Please ask that question again so that other Nigeria uh, down allow themselves to be fooled around by believing yes ask that question again make anybody we get sense where they reasonable where they yes. responsible make you try to, to process the question yes a question and look for answer by himself yes ask the question again the total equity under the budget of the central bank is less than three trillion where central bank get 23.4 trillion that they borrow to banks where they get the money secondly where they get the money that they borrowed federal government How because much? i can see we pass the bill just recently we passed the money which is the most criminals uh, prod that I ever see where some means federal government borrowed 20 trillion spended it without the knowledge of the National Assembly 20 trillion 20 trillion where they borrowed the 20 trillion from? central bank borrowed 20 trillion naira spent the money without Pet National Assembly awareness. Not even with the rubber stamp. If I say the brochures we pass, it, you can call rubber stamp. We, without the approval of the National Assembly, they borrowed the money and they spend it. And that is why, before President Buhari left office, 
I did justice to him. We tell National Assembly to pass that issue. Sorry, Sheikh Mahmoud is a president. Tinubu need to protect this man and give him absolute security. Yes. Good idea, yes? yes? Thank you, Sheikh. Continue. So, what we expect, the 20 trillion was spent and I am sure if investigation goes, 70 percent of the money has been stolen by the official of that government and some cabals. The Buhari government? Yes, and I am sure he didn't steal Kobo out of it. But when we allowed him, he let office. We didn't pass that things. It's, he can be jailed. Are you serious? That is why we, I, 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 I beg them and we make sure we pass it because of him. Because we know you say he, say no he, to he, jail. Can, he can go to jail. Because it's an impeachment offense. What they did. And they you didn't spend 20 trillion naira. Yes. Without and, and it's arrangement between the central bank and some cabals. So they will just brought him, he will up sign, then they take the money, they will say they do this, or this, this, or this. They are approving the money, some of the money in the fact. But some of the money was assigned in unnecessary so that the way they diverted the money. So he is not aware. We know he's not aware. I, I know him. I know he don't have a good hundred million in his account. I know. Up to the time he left office. I don't know whether they will, they, will, they will give him some certain entitlement or something. But as he left office, I'm sure. Buhari. So they spend, they steal that, they spend that money. Some people is in some people pocket, and at the end of the game, they will jail him. So there is no justice in that. That is why National Assembly passed that was a means. But it's open. Borrowing money without National Assembly, spend it without approval of the National Assembly, and it's, it's, it's in, in debt service. And the money will be in the debt service. And when you go at the end, you will find it's the government money. Uh -uh. We are borrowing government, you, government money. You borrow your own money. Your own money. Because where CBN can get the money to borrow federal government? It's a government money. How much them borrows uh, uh, federal government? Almost 20 trillion. And their own budget is less than 4 trillion? It's less than 2. Uh, two, three. Three trillion. Yeah. Two point something And trillion. even the total equity is less than 1 trillion. The total equity. Less than one trillion. So how are they? How they get the money? So through that bank charges and the stamp duty for lo very long, they are acquiring, they are accumulating, accumulating. Mo accumulating money. When I came here, I told them they, they are they, they change the money they, is a, is a prod. Immediately we left here. Mm. They say no cash. No bank, no bank stop paying cash to people. Yeah. Because they want people to go back to cashless so that the, the charges will triple. Okay, in order to cover up to what co uh, has been stolen. That is what they plan. People, they don't know the purpose of changing this money and stop, they stop cash circulation. They want everybody to go on electronic. So that even transfer is electronic. You go to POS to electronics. You trans anything. And it will not they are charging stamp duty, but electronic transfer fee. So instead of seventy to eighty million transaction, the transaction hit nearly three hundred million transaction a day. And they are still charging that money. Only God know what is the chart. The money enter between that time to now. Mm -hmm. And where is the money? When you go, you will never see it in their balance sheet. Oh, you know there for their book? It, no. You know there for their balance oh, sheet? It is, it is not there for their balance sheet. <laughs> it's in some private account. Then from that private account, then the money will flow into the iron new window market. The more that money enter iron new window, they turn into dollar, they become investors' money. 
the emperor on that, they will send the money to Apuri's bank in Cote d'Ivoire or somewhere. Then they will send you to bring the money back to Nigeria as loan. Oh, uh, uh. You give your wife money. So when you go Wait, deep sir. into the investiga in investment of this country, many, many big investments you see now is ongoing in this country. You will see it's a government money. Okay, wait. You just like husband buy bag of rice, bag of beans, bag of yam, bag of this, bag of that. Put for house. All of a sudden, your wife tells you, say, food don't finish. There's more time when I sleep with hunger on an empty stomach one night. The following morning, she say, talk. Make her go collect uh, two tears from my man kitchen. Now your same, that rice where you buy, now in then go collect, can't give you. And you the owe my man kitchen. I don't, I, am I giving a good yeah. example? Yeah. The, the same rice where you buy one bag, where they, uh, when I chop only 10 mudu. They don't go hide them from Mama Nkechi place. Now, you and her go, go, when I go, go collect, you go there, tell Mama Nkechi, thank you very much. <laughs> Whereas now your rice, yes. and then you go, can't get money, you go, come pay Mama Nkechi for yes. your own rice. Yes. Where then thief mm. can't sell back to you. Yes. Am I giving that is what example? Is, that is what exactly what is going. <laughs> yes. So that is why I am advising the president and the government to quickly pay 55% to own NIFs. Immediately when government own NIFs, because if you go to corporate affairs, you will find that up to now, they didn't pay the money. They are occupying the NIFs without paying the money. And in the name of, is, in, is the hand of investors. <sighs> but if government can pay 55%, Take over the NIPS, then you will trace all this money from 2013 through NIPS. Because presently, they hire some forensics. They are deleting the data. They, they are deleting, they the, are data deleting the data day by day. Mm -hmm. So that when we come traced, you will find. That Nothing. is why, if you see what Shonobi did, Who is in the, the present acting CBM governor, if you see what he did in NIPS, him and MFLA, you not allowed him to call that place in one minute. Because it's MFLA go, MFLA come. Mm -hmm. Okay, MFLA go, MFLA come. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Who brought him to the place? It's MFLA. And he, because when he see NIPS, he cannot sub, survive without the NIPS. That is why he carried him close. Mm. Then he appointed him as deputy governor and he leave him in charge of the NIPS too. Holding two positions at the same time. Uh -uh. From NIPS, he bring and come. Yes. Appoint him as deputy, uh, uh, CBN, CBN deputy governor. governor. And he and is put in, in charge, charge of NIPS. And seen the NIPS still. Holding. Because all the charges, when bank charges the money, when bank charges the, all these charges, they will send it to NIPS. Then pro NIPS, they set it, the amount they will give government, then it will go to government. Then pro NIPS, there is certain private account in CBN, then they will push the money there. So from that account, then they will move the money to INE window market. Then the money become dollar. Even this BDC you see, is private on. Bureau the change. It's, all the money that is given to BDC is not a government money. It's a stamp duty money owned by somebody from the iron window market. That is why when we they, they had that, we will started the investigation. He stopped all the BDCs. They suck the money, they take it somewhere. They are spending millions of dollars in cash, even in the U.S., you will never see cash circulating as what they are doing in Nigeria with that stamp duty money and bank charges. So people, they don't know what is going. And they leave people in poverty. We have no road, 
no hospitals, no light, no water, so no strike. education, mm. no 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 health, many things. Dubai is bull with seventy billion dollars. We are talking about one hundred and seventy billion dollars in only bank charges that people are not aware of. Be Dubai was built with seventy billion dollars. We are talking about one hundred and seventy. One hundred and seventy billion dollars in only one place that people are not aware of. So Nigeria is rich. Super rich. Talk less of oil. Look at the oil. If not President Buhari is weak. Mm. How you can see people are lifting crude oil daily, better than government. And because of the certain cabals are beneficiaries, they leave the matter. Mm. Look at what is the show. Immediately they appoint Tempolo because he's aware. Mm. He showed them the place where they are lifting. They are lifting better than the government. Mm. They are lifting almost two million barrels daily. Through our own pipe. Through our own pipe. And look at the construction. You know, it's purposely is constructed by a big company. Mm. They imported the big company and they did the things and they have the place where the ships can come a lot in the sea. Do you and think NNPC is not aware? And this loading is not one hour, is not five hours, is not ten hours. And it's not today, it's daily, every day. <laughs> But he leaves the matter. He's supposed to investigate. NNPC is aware. The people around the place is aware. The security there is aware. How many billions there? If you go, if you if they can investigate, that money is beyond 171 billion dollars. Because for good nine years, they are lifting every day. Far better than government. So what I advise, the, as I will meet the president mm. and I will advise him to allow this, our committee, to continue. Okay, hold on. Because... Hold on, sir. Hello, Your, ex uh, Your Excellency Distinguished Ambassador Chuku, the, the Brekete Family Ambassador in the whole of United Arab Emirates, headquarters, Dubai. The man we know they like Chuku. Chuku, the defender of the women's right, uh, race. I'm very good morning, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. How Dubai today, sir? We we bless God. We bless God. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I just wanted to call, you know, to say may God richly bless you for what you do for us. Mm -hmm. You know, I was trying to reach you when you are talking about police, Nigerian police. Mm. You see? So they can really touch me because over here, when you see the police, you are hungry to be a police officer. The cars they drive on, everything they do, honestly. You know, none of them collect, collect not less than 2 million or 2.5 to 3 million naira every month, their salary, when you, when you convert it to Nigerian money. This is the, this is the, the lowest ranked police officer here. Hmm. It's excluding the benefits. So, which means you have insurance that covers your whole family. Family insurance. You have housing allowance in which if you cannot build, they will give you house grant for 25 years pay back. I've said this many times. Mm. So, you see, until we really take care of our police, because police is a defense of every nation. When you see these guys on the road, they, they don't sweat. They're always, always inside the car with AC. Mm. And they don't sweat. You know, honestly, thank you so much for standing in for uh, for Nigerian police for saying things the way they are, for not allowing people to corrupt you, sir. Mm. I'm telling you, people have tried many times to corrupt, but you stand for the truth. Thank you so much for doing that. May God bless you. Amen, and you too, sir. Thank I don't you. Care. What, what we need is somebody that will give us the best so that everybody will be happy in that country. Thank you. Mm. Nigerian police must be taken care of. Thank you, sir. Mm. God bless you. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Make we appreciate Ambassador Chukudi. <laughs> Will they come, sir? Sorry, hold on, sir. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, ordinary president. Now, who me and I'm Devano? Where you Devano from? 
Jamil Mohammed from Italy. We team be your contributor. Honorable Gudajek has already studied. My contribution is for Honorable Kazore expose this thing. You know, leaving all these things. Since we don't live out, we don't want to talk with in media. Now we make our country backward. Mm. You can imagine just just uh, Doha and Qatar. How much they take to do this Qatar for only four years? Mm. Even when you went to Abu Kadore, they talk. Just Qatar yesterday. Look about Dubai. See how our people, people from Nigeria, that are from Nigeria, man, no support even travel from Nigeria to Kotonou to go and house them if we have, if this European have what we have, one, I know they will go post by post, posting money for them. Please, Honorable Kazori, expose this thing. Let us do it once and for all. Our youth, we are claiming we have youth. You go, are you a pensioner? Si, 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 you are youth, you are students. Go si. and talk about wholesale. Well, the of the ass you try, you are talking about police. What concern you? Are you a pensioner or are you? Where where are the youth today? Where where are you strike they on? What did they do? Yes, where do you where do you stamp you? President, say president, ask you. I beg, uh, we must get it right this time around. By the president grace of Bola God. Tinubu, by, by president Balatinibu, remember back. Mm, and sorry. tomorrow is another person. Mm. You talk about MMTR, you are like tomorrow, another person will talk about you. Mm. Do the right thing at the right time. Mm. This Th is the Nigerian time. Please. Thank you very much. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh, yeah, the chin don't cut. The number to call if you're there for inside, uh, outside Nigeria, and applause 234 81 one one. Hello, good morning, sir. Hello, good morning. Where you be on the, where you good morning, sir. God bless you, sir, and uh, good morning to the entire Brigitte family. Yes, sir. I call just to contribute. Uh, first on the police matter, I think you're on point. We all your your, support na your name, sir. Your name. Yes, Dr. Mustafa calling also from Dubai. Okay, Dr. And, Mustafa. Uh, the ambassador has said, mm. really, the Dubai police here, they are very admirable. Mm. They don't sweat. You, you have problems, you are happy to see them mm. on your own problem. Even when you're on the wrong side of the law, you're, you still have the confidence that, okay, they will treat you nice and you'll pay for what you have done. Mm. Nigerian police, by the special grace of God, we will get there. Amen. And it takes Amen. all of us, mm. all of us, to cooperate to this level. Our ordinary president, mm. I also want to talk about this e-hailing thing. Mm. As a student, many students in other countries where they allow foreigners or Africans like here in Dubai to do e-hailing business, we survive through this. In fact, not only survive for our own self, we're even able to send things home. It's a high time, my ordinary president, for mm. us to have that furnished, polished for Nigerian people. Mm. And uh, the ordinary president, I just want to add this last bit. Mm. You mentioned about the Indians. It is good, but it will be better. We look in what? There are many people in Nigeria. Let's Let's uh, try. Let's put in that governance framework. Mustafa. Bring people on their own. Mustafa. Yes, sir. Give me people in Nigeria and sign your tea for them. If anything goes wrong, we hold you responsible. Madam President, I am one of them, and I know there are others too. Oh, we all can come together. Mustafa. I'll bring people. Yes, bring sir. people, make one come. Thank God I never give the Indians money yet. Prove to me that you have mm. the capacity to do this thing. Show me what you want to do before. How effective. Okay, how many, how may, how, how frequent is the downtime? Waiting be the, when, uh, when, uh, after service, uh, after sales service uh, e e e effectiveness. No, be just to make mouth. We for Nigeria, we get uh, some of us now attitude, they, they, they worry us here. 
No, carry me. If you know how many waiting, I don't suffer for Nigeria in an attempt to get some things right. Some people go collect your money, they, they won't deliver on time. Indians tell you, say, one month, two weeks, I'll be one week. They walk towards that. Nigerians go keep you one year, they never deliver. You get one app up till now, they never deliver, hand them over to me. And the Nigerians I give. I don't develop more than 11 apps on my own in an attempt to add value to people's lives, to make life easy for people. One particular app, I spent over 40 million naira. I'm still spending. So Mustafa, you will come, we will show you on TV and social media. You are going to assure Nigerians that if anything goes wrong, ordinary president has no business with it, hold me. And you are going to sign document to indemnify me, sir. I don't tire. Some Nigerians are unemployable, no matter how the qualification is. Attitude, integrity. No, sir. Unfortunately. So, Mustafa, you but, don't commit yourself mm. now. There is no going back. No. Uh, no go anywhere. You are, uh, I, I uh, take the challenge, sir. I will send the letter in. Okay. Shortly. And uh, you, you, go, you, you go, you go, and, you go uh, do video. Greetings to the Brooklyn family. Thank you. Uh, Honorable Gudaje Kazare is in the studio. Did you, you, you hear the expose? Oh, oh. In the end, hello. Good morning. We are coming back to you, sir. Make one bring water for honorable now. Enter, bring water. Even me, I did test. Hello, good morning. If you did for inside Nigeria now, zero nine zero. Hello, good morning, sir. Nine nine eight eight. Hello, good morning. Seven seven zero zero. My brother, why comes out an Ike? Then they talk to you. Uh, Waiting be your name, where you they know from? My name is uh, Danfulani. Danfulani, why you go call this number? Call the other I'm line. I'm sorry, sir. I guess I'm to have a spot to insecurity in, in Abuja. I'm sorry to call this number. I was calling oh, oh yeah, go number. ahead. Waiting be that. There is some insecurity going on in there, but I don't want to talk to it in public. Where? Where? That Abuja here. Apo? Abuja, Amak. Um, Amak by where? By that place, I died. last two weeks they have killed my brother and kidnapped him. Uh, in, so in there is insecurity there. Madam, yes, give me more like I make a drink some now. Some people that is about, I know it, what is going on and all the now. If you talk to them, they will prove you that they know I, uh, some insecurity personnel. That you will even not sleep with two eyes if they notice you are the one that. I, I will still prove it anything. Well, yeah, come to, don't fall and you come to the studio now so that we can send you to director DSS FCT. Uh, right now, I'm at the place of work. I don't know if I can come and see you tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, come tomorrow morning. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate Honorable. Thank you. Thank you. You don't talk to security. No, no, uh, thank you. Good morning, sir. Don't call this number. Call the other number. You did Nigeria. You did call uh, uh, the Nigeria. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, good morning, sir. What be your name? Where you they know from? Yeah, I'm Sadiq, sir. I know from Otako. Okay, Sadiq from Otako. What be your contributor? Uh, this honorable Gudaji. I am also from Jigawa State, sir. Mm hmm. Hey, Sadiq. Yes, sir. Between you and your God, be honest with us yes. here. Yes, sir. What, what kind of a man is Honorable Gudaji Kazaori? Well, we are we the people of the Gawa State. We are proud of Honorable Gudaji Kazaori. Hmm. This fact that he has a little issue with the governor, that's what makes him not to come back to the Green Chamber. Oh, he and governor get issue. 
he is. Because I can see that there was a certain time that even Gudadu Kalore went and they were like settling him and the governor, they settled them. But you know, this fact that they settled them, yet the governor has a little issue of grudges that he talked to him. But hmm. I repeat to forgive the, the honorable member. Hmm. Thank you very but much. We, the people of Jigawa, said we commend him for doing the right thing. He's a honest man. Hmm. And he's making us proud, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. And it's only God that will sustain him and his family. Amen. Thank you, sir. We pray for good, long life and prosperity. Thank you very much, sir. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, lo, lo, lo. Wait in your name. Where are you the van off from? Wait in your name. Where are you the van off from? Time don't work out. I'm the off from Dubai. Okay. Peter wait from Dubai. Peter from Dubai. Wait in your contributor. First of all, ordinary president, I want to greet you. Thank you, I answer. I must thank Almighty and Almighty God who give you this uh, expression and uh, wisdom and knowledge to fight for the pharmacies. Amen. Thank you, sir. Although there are some people that don't like that. If they don't do something like that, their mind will not be at rest. Thank you, sir. And where there are some people, they will see good things, they will call it bad. They will see bad things, they will call it good. Thank you very much. I pray everyone that are supporting the pharmacies in Nigeria, the Almighty God help us. Amen. To remove this shame the evil ones have brought to us. Amen. In the mighty name of Allah. Amen. <laughs> first, first of all, today I'm following this morning the top of uh, our the first time the people from Cameroon, people that they took. Uh, Talk of uh, the one to travel from outside, uh, the one to travel outside. The talk of the leadership. Yes, the truth is that some of us don't speak out. Some of us we refuse to fight the right fight. We speak the truth to there, but sometimes we know that the central government choose people that are going to live in the state. All of us know that. Agasa. Sometimes they don't give us who we want. Okay, imagine him on stage. Somebody at his first position. They remove him, put the first position. How do you want that person to work? That one no be government, not judiciary, do. not judiciary. Yeah. Do yeah, that is what I'm saying. Because they have power from Federal. They have power. That is why. So, when you speak out, who will you run to? Nobody. So apart from okay, that, if that the top of uh, our so, our, yeah. our Nigerian police, the top of our Nigerian police, the truth is that the way they are treating our Nigerian police is not good. Because just like that, my brother Ambassador Chuku said here, if you see police here, you cannot even near police. Talk less of talk to talk to the police. Anyhow, because only their uniform, only the way they dress. Only the neatness, you will think he's a president of your country. The type of car they drive, you will think is a governor. Thank you very much. Thank you. But they will be the, but, but they will be the one see you. If you are suffering, they will buy a bottle of water and give to you. Say drink. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What name is your name? Where are you from? Where from? Yeah, my name is uh, Tony. I'm calling from uh, Manchester. Okay, Tom. What I have a quick question to the Honorable. Honorable. Mm -hmm. Hello? Go, go ahead. Yes, my question to him is, why did he partake in illegality by protecting what the president did? What did and he do? And exposing CBN, governor. What did Anybody he do? Anybody that comes to equity, how to come with it, a clean pair of hands. When was the last time you were in Nigeria? Why did he do it? When was the last time you were in Nigeria? Well, I was in Nigeria last year. 
when you come back next year or this year come and ask the question in nigeria okay mm. thank you thank you hello good morning good morning okay make we come back to nigeria here hello good morning Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning, sir. Yes, waiting for your name. Where are you Devano from? My name is Kaduru Madaki. I'm Devano from Kabushas. Okay, waiting. Waiting for your contributor. Uh, I like to give Gaman. Gaman, but he said that I give Gaman here to this man. We're not going to give a year to the chairman. I don't think it's the man. Wala, 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 wala. I won't be able to talk to the president. I won't be able to keep this man. I want to give this chairman so that all those problems, all those problems, all those problems, all those problems, so that I can get protection from that place. Okay. Okay, thank you. I really like that man. The way the man is talking. The man is very confident. They have to give us something. For this country, so that yes, we will be confident for this country. You know, the one they talk, when they give an ESCC chairman, so that the man can fetch everything uh, out of this uh, country, so that yeah. we might say, we will be here, this country is moving uh, forward. Okay. So, you know, and come to do work for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Good morning, my ordinary president. I pray that God in heaven sees you through. Honorable Kazare is a national treasure who must be protected. I pray that the pre that president Tinubu appoints him as what you did mention. But somebody say EFCC chairman. I hear say they don't suspend the EFCC chairman indefinitely. Yes. He's in detention already. Oh, he's in detention now. Yes. They don't arrest him. Yeah. Tinubu is walking. Tinubu has come to walk. Ah uh ah. -uh. Now MBC, I go bring out all the documents, all the evidences where well, I've be, uh, been hide before. Because it, it was a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of resources. IPPIS, NAMI first ex exposed, I, when I remember, yes, in Nigeria, NAMI first exposed IPPIS for money where then the thief and ghost workers. This director, IPPIS, come here. Begin, they vex, they provoke. Why expose the, 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 our source of information? H hello, good morning. Good morning, my ordinary. Yes, now who me and I'm the van also? Coded. Oh, coded. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Did it him? May rescue us. May mm. God bless you. Amen. There is nothing he said that is a lie. Mm. In fact, he has said more truth than the truth would even admit it is true. Mm. I have been following comments on people saying Honorable Kazari needs to be protected. Mm. I think that should be the priority of this government. Mm. Because this man is a national asset mm. with national evidence to save our nation. Mm. That is the truth. Mm. Yeah, them not bringing you back to uh, the green team, but it's actually their loss and our gain. Mm. Let us just leave it at that. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Make we appreciate Kode. Samuel Kilobas, he said, good morning, my ordinary president. Please, I want to appeal that, uh, please, let's pray for consultant and all consultant, I, uh, uh, all the forensics that, oh, the thing done, they work out, they go, that the, they delete the data from CBN. Oh, 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 make we pray for them. The, okay, so we go pray for them. Thank God, Sunday done here, Friday done here. So we will pray for them. Ajibola Ma Majo Majo Lagbe, he say EFCC chairman we get issues with former governors. Same people we help Tinubu become president. Okay. Okay. God's child say Astagfirullah. He say why did you shut down that man? 
that called from Manchester. The Honorable should be allowed to answer the question, why did he partake in illegality? It will not be every question I will allow my guest answer. I uh, am supposed to protect my guest where necessary. I'm not like other journalists, other broadcasters. No. He has the right for, to be protected here. So if uh, enemies of this country, they do that kind of style of broadcasting, no be, here is developmental broadcasting. Anything will go pull us back, I, I go hold them there. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, my honest person. Hey, yes, now me and I live. Please go and defer. What be your name? I'm coming from my name. From where? Please, please. I from need where? Help. Uh, you are calling from where? Yeah? I'm calling from. From where? From Qatar. You know, they clear. I'm calling from. Hello, good morning. From where? Good morning. Good morning, dear. What, Ordinary president. What team be your name? Where you the man from? My name is Tessie. I record from Finland. Tessie from Finland. Yes. Okay. What team be your contributor? My contributor, uh, uh, let me say, then protect that honor. Abi. That yes, we need protection. No way they protect that honor because before you get yes, this kind of yes, person again, yes. I don't know if kind of person there for Nigeria. Uh, before we get this kind of person, we do that. So I, I, I support make the protector. I don't want to hear him or anything will happen to that man. And nothing will happen to him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And again, at the second, at the second emotion, due to you don't know Kukere movement, where they about, Kukere movement about crime. At the second emotion, made a given. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, Okay. No, no, no. No, they no put any vote or anything. They do not give up for a hand. You go see, say, because uh, 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 now, nah, nah, like when I even they uh, make uh, my open my eyes, all this while, where would they do that CBN or issue mm. where the ESS they struggle? Mm. EFCC no make any move. Mm. When they, they, make we, move. they, they don't make, make any move, move where I know. Like Ah, okay, to thank you very much, my sister. Now, now my eye they open now. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Network, network. We go come back to Honorable Gudaji Kazori in three minutes time. By the grace of God. Hello, good morning. Kilo D. You really, you, Dafa. Money, hello. 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 Good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. <laughs> now, look how I call be this. And this one too, now, look how I call. I go reject them. When I go call the local number. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Wait, be your name. Where you did not from? Wait, be your contributor. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. Wait, be your contributor, te, quickly. Sir, you trying to say you are calling from Karu site? Yes. Okay, what team be your contributor? Uh, my concern is that I got a shop for Eastern Karu market. Mm. This thing happened in 2014, as I said, as I have been calling this line, think. What team be your name? My name is Joy Emeta. Um, so, Joy Emeta. Okay, as you get the shop, what, what happened to the shop? 
Madam, you, you, you buy shop? I buy land. Sir. You buy land? I'm struggling to hear her seriously. Can you change your location so that uh, this conversation go declare? The thing they crack. Okay. It's still they crack. Make we know who is each other time. Make when they lo uh, identify location where good. This is the last caller for now. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. What team be your name? Where you devano from? My mid address my devano from Cyprus. Okay, Livingstone from <laughs> Cyprus. That boy wish that you. Okay, you man. Who? 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 <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Let's do. I really thank God for your life and for everything you do. Amen, sir. But the day within the post, my brother. Yeah. I didn't Hello? hear you. Wait a minute, that thing. Okay. For this Cyprus, this is not Cyprus. Many of our people stay inside prison, on both unlawful and the law. And they get one woman way from UK who they like to visit prison this side. One Yoruba woman. So she come one certain time, tell us, say, get one girl. We don't do anything, we did there. The story long, but to cut everything short, you get one union who will open here. Why I call my friends, we just form, you understand? And that union, our aim that to be visit people, we get people, we get problems for for prison and people will not see she do You understand? By God's grace, now we be up to 25. And we go meet one of their lawyers this side, tell and say, for us to be led that to register this organization, what is the requirement? In tell us say we must get up to five people who get business for here. We don't say at least CTCH, which we don't get, you understand. So the only the only option we give us say if we should register the organization from Nigeria, then send the certificate for here, made the authenticator. That is the best for us. Then we can now operate legally yeah. on our my, my brother our plan. Yes. Uh, our brothers we get business for that country, no day. No, yeah, it's good. And only two persons why no we get uh, business uh, and they are our member and they never stay up to other other Nigerians no get business for that country. I'm not sure. Then they, they just they study owner. No be every country's association and they clean. Some bad people feel it, join themselves together. I know one group for Germany. I know okay. one group where be, where be saying a cult them be. And they, then they okay. cover themselves as a, say them be a, a association, one association of Nigerian people, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, People need to okay. study on a first made and they sure of waiting on a they talk and waiting on a mean. Waiting person they yes. talk they different from waiting he mean and waiting he carry for belly. Yes. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. I no go advise okay, government to write uh, any document for Una yet until they, they sure of Una. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mention. Um uh, Abdullah Ishagi said, President Bola, Bola Tinubu has achieved. Uh, okay, that one don't work. He said, Abdullah Ishagi said, President Bola T Ahmed Tinubu is working tirelessly. He has achieved so much in two weeks from NLC strike threat to suspension of EFCC chairman. We hope he will be attentive to people like honorable. Amen. Um, Zulu Alabi is Zulu Alabi he say our honorable expose a lot and risk his life to save Nigeria. But despite that, some people still they find fault. I know them, fault finders. 
some of these people where they find fraud, their papa no contribute any single thing to community development, not to talk about national development, enemies of bitterness, um, products of bitterness. Yes, honorable, back to you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so, uh, intentionally, Central Bank with their collaborators, they dubalu the Naira. Mm. Intentionally. Mm. Intentionally. How? How? Because we have money to solve our debt, to increase our the value of our currency, and to imp to devalue even the dollar here. Because we have the money. We have the money because in our planning of this committee was the president Buhari, which I didn't tell anybody. Instead of subsidizing fuel, we intend to plan to subsidize dollar. What? Dollar with that stamp duty money. Mm. Because we have enough money to bring dollar to the country and subsidize it. And subsidize it. Mm. Then Naira will, will, will have more power now. Yeah, what we plan is all the importers and our business people, they will go and open LC account, letter of credit. Account. Account. Then they will receive from M in the bank. Whatever you are importing, we are in a modern world. Mm. We you see you it. imported it from each and every country you are importing. Mm. Then the central bank, your bank, when you imported it as letter of credit, you clear it in the port or in the airport, or in the airport, then you bring the HS court from the custom processing center. Hmm. There is something we call HS court. That is the pop, the final release of the custom. You have to go and rebalate it in the in the custom processing center. Then when you rebalate it, you take it to your bank. Then the bank will take it to the remittance office in the central bank. Then the remittance office, then they will make sure that you imported that thing. Then the central bank will release the money to the country you imported mm, the things. Not even giving you direct. We are not. We are not giving anybody dollar. All importers will import what they need, either materials or anything. Or machines. In a subsidized price in dollar. Mm. So when the things came, Hi. everything will go, then they will tell you the amount you will sell your product. Mm. So we will do price. a price control. Mm. So gradually everything will down. Dollar will go down, down to 100 or below 100 naira. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> mm. Instead of paying seven trillion to subsidy which is brought even one trillion is not spending they are going into a private account a pocket whoever says subsidies they are spending that money is lie and that is why i am calling the attention of mr president as he came to, to as, as he he showed that he's serious there is people in his government and there is people that assisted him they are among of this mess. Oh, they are in this, oh, all okay. this. Wait. So you should close his eye. Mm, and deal with them. No matter who is close to him, no matter who is in the government, if he found in this issue, he should return the government money amicably. Because this is what we are planning now. Return the money quietly. Quietly. If he didn't need it. Then disgrace. Yes. So there is 12 people. 12 people 12 people in this government in this which i will read them now mm -hmm. the best person if we want to bring back the economic of this country and we are serious we have to arrest and investigate 
central bank governor which is now under investigation mm. one secondly the efcc chairman two and when we are in investigating the efcc chairman we have to invite the former chairman magu to brought some things that he left in the office to explain totally number three the gmd of the nnpc mm. the gmd of the nnpc mm. number four the former minister of justice malemi mm. number, number five the sabi utunde who is the personal private secretary to the former president buhari the one where they sell recharge card before that guy mm. that boy he must be came under investigation and that is number four be number five that is number five mm. number six there is mohammed nani the chairman of epa fi rs mm. federal the, inland revenue, federal service, inland revenue service. service then there is jamu denimasa then there is coco from mp the mpa nigerian port authority port authority and the poma former Hadiza mm. bala they should bring they're them they're supposed to bring them and investigate them and investigate them mm -hmm. then all cbn deputy governors all of them all of them former or present present don't those that are working with mm. the they're supposed to come and open their eyes and and mouth and tell what they know if we are serious we want to restore the economy mm. then number 10 mm. we have to invite to arrest and investigate former minister of humanitarian affairs mm. idea umar paru if he didn't if he didn't okay. the woman with feed children during uh, corona, corona. It's, a, it's supposed mm. to be because okay. when you invited her <laughs> many of our colleagues will come into the embassy uh, okay. them too don't chop then the entire leaders of national uh nips national interbank settlement system mm. the entire leaders and the icts officer there they're supposed to be investigated because they are the one who will tell you where all the bank charges and the stamp duty went mm because it's from there the money used to go to the central bank mm. in the secret because they open secret account spew money go to the government then they are sending some money to the private account ah, ah. and that is when from that private account as i told you then the money will go into i and you window market that is why i mentioned i and you window where this uh the man you called that day from central bank mm, yeah. uh, live he is telling me i and the i and the window is not an account who told him it's an, an account it's a market and we know we are aware but the money go to i and the window market so majority of the money there is not for the investors it's government money mm. and that is why the money hit 171 billion in the market in that market who get that 171 billion in this country is it telling me who you see 171 billion dollars they hit as, as year 2000 the money in the hit inside enter the i and e window market is one 171 billion dollars telling me who owned that money in this country if you say it's for the investors who is the investor it's a, it's a it's a government money it's a government money majority of the money in the i and e window almost 70 percent is the government money and it's through that bank charges and the stamp duty the money used to come from private account in the central bank then they will take the money into uh, direct to i and e window market then the money will turn automatically to dollar and turn to investors money and from the apmdq where they are lending federal government money how that money enter fmdq and become not for the government and they are borrowing government money from the fmdq 
while almost 70 percent of the bmdq belong to government so you are borrowing government government money hmm. so if we want to bring back this money is easy it's very easy how yes how easy sir first of all let mr president bring back my committee secondly let him allow me to work with only the dgss because he's uncompromised person and he is ready to help this country no matter what you offer him they offer him billions mm. This he, DG DSS. This, but he refused to even listen to them. <laughs> Without the DG, by now in this country we are on war. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Because even the swearing in of the Aswaju that happened on the 29th May will not happen. Something will happen different. Hmm is a DG. So now, that is how, how would they recover this money where they don't thief? The only way to do is, first of all, when our committee is set, then the DSS will allocate two to three underground cells for us. <laughs> two to three underground cells? For, for the committee. <laughs> <laughs> the darkness one. Oh, the dark one. The dark one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Over so, to you, so chairman mm. number one. That is what so I said. So underground cell. Now you need no cell, AC, no which light. Which are allocated to the committee. Mm. Then secondly, Mr. President and any people around him should not interfere. Mm. No matter who was arrested, they should allow us to work. Even if the person, the National Assembly now, who whoever mm. we take there, mm. they should not, they should be allowed us because first of all, we will invite a person and talk to him amicably, personally, to bring back the money, the money amicably. Everybody bring back our money. Bring back our this is everybody bring back our money. Bring back our money. Bring our money. Bring back our money. Continue. Then, totally, the committee has to be. To we want the government to create a mobile court purposely for the committee. Nothing like delay. Purposely they for the you, committee. You know, corporate, they take you to we, court. We have the court to that we can get remand order. We are not going to apply somewhere waiting. Uh, Anybody we take, then we take a remand of at least 60 days. On the spot. And keep 60 there. days. Yes. To prison. Straight. Everything will come back. We will bring everything in 60 days. Allah. We know how to <laughs> irritate him. Honorable. Yes. <laughs> we bring it. Yes. Remand order for 60 days only. Yes. And within the 60 days. Yes. Money will come up. We will, we will, we will bring, if, we, in, if, if we talk to him amicably in uh, the first week, uh, the second week, <laughs> he will start talking. Honorable <laughs> <laughs> So, it's not the issue of going slowly. Hold or, on, sir, hold on. When I say honor, when I say rebel, honor, rebel, honor, rebel, honor, rebel. <laughs> Continue. So, sir. in Nigeria, is not a, we reach the situation whereby if you treated people very gentle, slowly, gentle. The, 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 the first of all, they, they are aware that if you take money in Nigeria, when they carry you to EFCC, nothing will happen from EFCC to court. You will hire sun, sun, sun. Mm. They will give you bail and you go and enter air condition and continue eating chicken. Mm. Your private uh, jet, jet are there. Mm. Everything are there. Mm. Dollars are there. Mm. You are spending. Oh, yes. So with that, we cannot fight corruption in this country. Mm. So if we are serious, this is a step. And I, I have confidence. We will do this with the DSS mm. because the the DSS uh, the, 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 the DSS the, 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 the DSS chief 
is ready to help this country. And you know that cell where you they talk, that one, dark cell. The, the, uh, I hear say foreign mosquitoes they there. When you know they hear any other language apart from Chinese language. No, whenever we put that, you will never know whether it's morning or night. Allah. Because somebody who is inside air conditioning is controlling dollars. Uh, uh, the more he is there for 30 minutes, he will say, I will talk. Uh, Bring me out, I will talk. Uh, Allah. That is the place we, we know. We know uh, the place where uh, we uh, In less than two, three hours, um, person will start talking. Uh, no so, AC, no fan. Yeah, uh, because we can abandon a person for 20 days there. Mm. We only give you food. Mm. You will never see anything. And even the food now uh, only being spoiled. I know, you will eat what is the common people eat because you, uh, uh. that is how we are. <laughs> this is what is, we will yes. give you a person, sometimes we will give you gari and, uh, and ground and ground nut. You eat. Uh, you will know that you leave people in suffering. Mm. You are enjoying, so you let you mm. know that the people that they are oh. sleeping with hunger, oh. Oh. you will know that. Oh. How many millions of Nigerians they cannot afford to eat three square meal in a day? And I see the people that they are eating gari as it is, without even put water. Mm -hmm. They are eating gari as Chewing it is. Chewing gari dry. Small sugar and eat the letters they put water. They drink uh, water. It will fool their stomach. <laughs> one water meat and there you go. And that somebody who he, maybe he eat that one a day till tomorrow again. Once a day. Yeah. And they are the one created this. So they're supposed to know. Mm. You cannot take a person like that person and give him chicken still in there. No, there. no, 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 no. Let him drink gari and let and him drink gari and, and, and ground nut mm. with small sugar. Hello. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Let's appreciate. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Good education. We have hope, mm. as you said. If this 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 years, this government passed, without recovering the economic, yes. we lose hope. I'm telling you. Even me, I will follow you when you fly in the country. <laughs> that is the reality. You know where I did go. Because look at if this thing continue. You cannot walk freely in the cities. No, not at all. Because the kidnappers will come in, mm -hmm. the crime will come, mm -hmm. people will join. Mm -hmm. Because some people so are wondering. Mm -hmm. You can see a graduate, a graduate, six, seven years, he's looking for a job. Mm -hmm. In my, I finish my tenure, in my office, I have almost 400 CBs. Um, CB in your office in my office 400 CBs. 400 that I am looking to get them a job I didn't get let's appreciate this man people put on different places they know they, they will come from different states we are suffering some they are orphans they even study in a hardship Mm. They finish the studying. They Not have no. They say we can see you honorable. You are the man of the people. That is why we come. Mm -mm. See our CV help us. Oh, I went to many places. I can see only those that are who. Yeah, who and who's who and who yes. they are sharing the share between the 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 the, 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 the between between themselves. And with our some. Uh, chairmen of the committee in the National Assembly. Hmm. That is the reality. They can give the chairman to the committee because they know you, they can put ministries. Ministries. That is the root of corruption. Ministries. Ministries. That is the root of corruption. The root of corruption. From the pro procurement process to the payment of the contractors. Mm. When you block that, economy. Uh, economy, economy will boost, you will see light, you will see road, you will see hospital. You, you can employ 30 million people. 30 million people. Automatically, you can create ways that the more you graduate like before automatically you have you are getting a job to do a job to do because i suppose I, I i i take one bill 
to the National Assembly, which intentionally the, some people refused to to take the bill. the bill that we need to create accusation training in each and every our okay, learning skills acquisition it's training. training in each and every our learning institutions. Mm -hmm. So as you are graduating, you have as you are graduating, you have a handwork to do. Just what you government will do will provide the capital for you or equipment. Uh, and you start immediately. You start immediately. Oh, because government cannot. As, we, as this system is going, government cannot employ everybody. everybody. But when they give you capital, instead of this budget, we put at least one trillion every year for that purpose. For skills acquisition. For that and, and capital, empowerment. You will never see this crime from our youth. It because will because when you are doing that, then gradually you are in, you are engaging the people that they never go to school mm. and giving them the training mm. and employing them. Mm. In our armed forces, like police, you are talking. Mm -hmm. The total number of the police, I think they are four hundred and ten or four hundred and 20,000, the whole police officers, guiding 200 million people. The population of Nigerian police is about four. They are less than 400,000. Let's assume 500,000. They didn't go there. They are 300 and something thousand plus. That is why, no, because of the people that they train, I told you, 400, they are less than 400,000. Let's even assume 500,000. So 500. To protect, to work to enforce the law within about 200 and something million people. million people do your division and see how many people suppose police each, uh, how many how many people one police go police for this country and we you go see one senator get two to three police when you go to local government, you will see the whole lo local government of 500, 400,000 people. Yeah. You only will see three police. Only in the, the whole division and the area of command, if they have area of command, mm. they never reach 50. And how many guns they have? Mm. And the police you are talking, they are the only organization to tackle criminality in the country. Mm. Because they are close to people than any security agency. Sorry, Ilya talks. Uh, now there is employment in Nasarawa Federal Medical Federal Medical Center, Kefi, but it is not for the poor people. Why is because you have to bring seven hundred thousand naira to get the job. Federal but Medical Center. So why are somebody who suffer an orphan? Maybe he trek, he finishes secondary. Mm. He went to mm. He finish. Now he went to service. To bring he finished. Why is he going to get that money? Seven hundred thousand. Maybe he eat the one in a day. So you can see a person with a BSc, masters, seven years, nine years. He didn't get job. So when you engage him in crime, you as a friend, you take him somewhere. Mm. He see money. He see he will join. Mm. There was a time arm robbers was arrested. Nine of them. They are all graduate. If you give them job, they will not engage in that crime. They will hold themselves. So that is why I told you they created hardship in this country intentionally mm -hmm. in, to reach themselves to leave the country so far. Mm. All they have houses in London, they have in Dubai, they have in UK, they have in Caribbean island, they have in they have in eight, many places. I can tell you there is all among of those people that we mentioned. Mm. Some of them they have house across the world. Wherever across they go. The world. Wherever they go, they never sleep in the hotel. They have houses. Let's continue. On the that. only place to, to eliminate the corruption fast is when the government is serious. No relationship, no friend leave, no you help me, I win election. The more you involve yourself in a public money, bring it back. Mm, simple, quietly, amicably. Amicably. If you didn't, don't say that this man is here, he helped me, I win the election. Mm. Oh, no, no. It's not your money, it's a public money. Bring it back. And he will spoil your government at the end. 
people will accuse you. Okay. Now president is back to Daula. Mm. People are accusing him. And I am here, I said he don't have 100 million. And I am aware of that. But there is people close to him. Get nearly trillion. When then they trillion never. When then they chief the money around and why you no know talk? Why you no know take action? That is why I told you I don't I I I, I blame him hundred percent for the failure. Because he's supposed to be he's a president. Yes, sir. He's a president. But he became is some people as a president. Mm. He is just a leader in the villa. That is all. Mm. Not a president. That commander in chief is no more with him. Right. It's with some people. Mm. Okay. When I meet him one night, I see documents with him. On the documents, I see the list of the some appointees. There is one position that I see names. Even the, 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 the DGSS, that his tenure is about to finish, they bring three people. And the two, one, two, the last is the former DG they bring, Lawal Dawla in the third. Uh -uh. To bring him back again. And that too, there is no bitchy names on it. Because he stands on the truth. Yes, they want to get him. A I asked Mr. President, are you going to change the DG? The one that you told me is the only person that you trust in this government. Mm. He said, why? I said, I see the, the paper sir, was out his name. He was shocked. <laughs> he checked. He said, oh, I could have signed an entire room. They will change this man tomorrow. Mm. So okay. they're taking me by surprise. Somebody say, help me, voice of the voiceless. And mic. that is why he calls the president, he, he calls the, the DG, he appoints the DG who's out, even their concert, until later they know. Thank you, sir. What? we need now is i have already mentioned the name of the people that we're supposed to take them to investigation mm. and i am sure if president give these directives he will we will open recovery account federal government recovery account and i promise you that in less than 90 days you will see trillions of naira in that account in less than 90 days in less than 90 days you will see trillions in in that account because in the first hundred days of aswaju he will declare more than 40 to 50 trillion in on that account and you will not he will 50? not to 40 50 to 40 or 60 40? trillion in 90 days we can recover that money. For this government? I know where the money is. Mm. <laughs> Let's appreciate. Mm. Now, before you go, sir, somebody, where they talk like you. Nigerians, I will speak, even if today is the last day I will spend in this world. I want you to know that the battle Ashwaju is fighting to rid this country of endemic corruption. It's a battle that cannot be left in his hand alone. Every head of parastatas in Nigeria must stand up to let him know the rot in your own establishment. I tell you, NDIC stinks. There's a lot of rot going on. They say when you fight corruption, corruption fights you. Now, the document you see in my hand is one of the ways the corruption engineers in Nigeria are fighting back. You know, each time you say you want to have a true change, like the one brought about by President Ashwad Bola Ahmed Sinumbu, you will have the change champions who will support him, but you have the change skeptics and the game change game changers who will frustrate all his effort to rid Nigeria of this mess. Now, this is the purported new act of the NDIC. And I tell you for nothing, this is a Mephiles act. I tell you because here they have taken away the powers of Mr. President in respect of the NDIC. Let me start by telling you the mandate of the NDIC. 
the NDIC is set up as an independent agency of government to ensure that depositors money is protected in all the banks and all financial institutions to protect it so that nigerians can be protected from the misbehavior of bank directors whether in conspiracy with the cbn or when they are acting alone that is why the ndic has been set up as an independent body to ensure that depositors do not cry even when banks fail so there are four mandates the first mandate of the ndic is to guarantee nigerians who have deposited in all these banks that relax be calm your deposit is safe number two is to inspect the banks because prevention is better than cure to go around the various banks and ensure that the the banks are not messing around with depositors fund to ensure that creditors are i mean those who are borrowing money from the banks are those who have the capacity to pay and to ensure that the bank is run in the right way to bring about the happiness and the wellness of depositors that's our second mandate to go to the banks and ensure that we prevent collapse now the third mandate is whenever the central bank eventually declares that a bank has failed the ndic without interference of anybody should go there and resolve what is happening what do you do you begin to gather the data of depositors with the aim of ensuring that deposit depositors get the, the the sum that is meant for them for example if you if a microfinance bank fails for instance we first pay them two hundred thousand even if they now if they have more than that we are going to liquidate the asset of the of the banks we are going to go after those who are run, who are you know owing the bank and we're going to now make sure that we pay back the balance but i tell you that is not what is happening now they've taken over the cabal have taken over ndic and they took this particular act to the former president buhari 48 hours to his living office they knew at that time that the man was so busy and he would not be able to read everything they have put here therefore they got him to sign it now i tell you another thing another fraud was committed this document that was signed is materially different from the vote and proceedings of the national assembly that passed it when i was appointed i told all nigerians i am not celebrating i am going to be part of those who will work with ashiwaju to read this country of mess do not congratulate me until i have left ndic better than i met it therefore no sooner that we were appointed by the president waiting for confirmation they quickly introduced a new bill a law that will truncate everything that we wanted to do so i participated in the house in the national assembly because as a lawmaker i am a lawyer of over 30 years at the bar so i know that whatever is passed by the national assembly and assented to by the president will be what my board will implement so i was interested in every detail of what they were passing my god what has happened now is completely different from what was passed let me tell you not all nigerians are corrupt the national assembly still has so many senators who are men of integrity the house of representatives not all of them are corrupt there are men of integrity they knew at that time that if they introduce this section that i'm about to talk about to them on the floor they will vote against it so what did they do it was hidden somewhere it was not part of what was passed by the national assembly the national assembly passed a board a board that will have the representatives of the seized geopolitical zones in nigeria to to pretend over the affairs of the ndic to ensure that the ndic is able to discharge its duties now it also gave mr president the free hand to appoint competent nigerians who are capable of becoming managing directors and executive directors you know what they have done now they have tied the hands of mr president and they said only someone recommended by a mefele alone can be the managing director 
or the executive director. You know, in the previous act, Mr. President has the freedom to appoint any competent Nigerian to superintend over the affairs of the NDIC. Now, when the National Assembly passed, when the uh, I have the vote and proceedings of the Senate, the original vote and proceedings, you know, I understand that they are trying to doctor and I call this clerk of the National Assembly. Don't let them put your name in a mess. Some workers are compromising. Don't allow them. They forget that the vote and proceedings is in the hand of 109 senators. So if you doctor one, you cannot doctor all the others. The vote and proceedings is in the hands of 360 House of Representative members. Because I participated, I was there. So I have the clean copy, which preserves the right of Mr. President to appoint managing director without recommendation of CBN governor, to appoint executive director without recommendation of CBN governor, to, which allows the seized geopolitical zones to be represented. You know what they have done now? They have removed the, the representatives of the seized geopolitical zones. They have now fraudulently made the permanent secretary who does not have time to be the chairman of the board. How can the permanent secretary be a judge in his own cause? That is the ministry supervising the affairs of NDIC. How can the head of that ministry also be the head of NDIC? Do you know why? I visited the permanent secretary and he told me that Honorable Blatif, I am telling you, I told them several times, do not make the mistake of making me the chairman of the board. I have a thousand and one things to do as the permanent secretary, minister of finance. I have 36 commissioners of finance waiting for me at Hilton. I have so many things to do. They know, they know that I will not have time to participate so that they can do all the mess they want to do. Secondly, do you know what they have done in this act that is annoying? They have killed the career progression of all the 1,600 workers in NDIC. How can you say that somebody who is working as a teacher should not have the hope that one day I will become the principal? So what they have done here is that no worker, no director in NDIC can ever progress to become executive director, to become the managing director, because they said even if you work all your years in the NDIC, only the central bank can appoint and recommend who should be the executive director or managing director. NDIC is an independent body from the central bank. Central bank should be in charge of their own executive directors. They should not truncate the career of 1,600 Nigerians. Now there is protest among the workers. Now they have demotivated the staff. They have demoralized the staff. There's no way they can ever rise. I call on Mr. President never to act on this. And I tell you what is worse. Which one is affecting depositors? The one that is affecting depositors is that NDIC will no longer be able to make depositors smile. I tell you for nothing. I have thousands of petitions on my table by Nigerians who are owed by the NDIC, who find it difficult to claim their rights from the NDIC. They are frustrated. As I speak, they can come out. You know, because the NDIC has so many useless sections here. The sections that say, if you don't come and claim your right between so so time, the NDIC will become the owner of your money. It is there. How can you say a, 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 a microfinance that is closed? And I'll say, how do you now get these this depositors to come and collect their money? You say you are you are you are using town crier, town crier in today Nigeria to go and tell people in the village that all of you who have money in Uganda microfinance, come and collect your money from NDIC. When they have phone number that you can call, so you are denying Nigerians trillions of money, and I will not accept it. My board will not share cobble. I think of my grave, I think of my lord. I want if I'm removed tomorrow. I I don't care but this law now has removed the independence of the ndic you know how now the former law says ndic shall be free to go and investigate to go and investigate it did not affect our tenure it's because they are not lawyers i am a lawyer of over 30 years at the bar when a law was done you know look at the previous law we were appointed validly by mr president acting under the 2006 
Thank you very much. Let's appreciate Dr. Abdul Hakim, uh, Abdul M. A, Abdul Latif. It's, 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 a nice, it's a nice man. Thank you. So, you know, Mr. Chairman, by this our investigation, mm. if we continue, at least almost 60% of the banks will, will, at the end, bank will turn into the government. Oh, over 60% will be owned by government. Will be, be, will be owned, will by, owned government by government. Because they used our money to buy this uh, private bank. Yes, because... I, the I know about the, three the, banks the, where the, they, they buy. The charges mm. they are making, they are giving banks some money. That 13 era, the bank, the 16 era, the bank are returning. If you take that 16 era from 2016 to date, the bank is not your own. It's not, it's not their own. How can you collect tax and hold it? Mm. It's a government money. No, you can see Dr. Uh, Abdul Hakim Abdul Latif talk and say only NDIC. They are talking about trillions of naira. Uh -huh. Nigeria is super rich. <laughs> we don't have any business borrowing money from any useless country. You know what is what he mean? Mm -mm. The money. Instead of NDIC to go and investigate all this, what we are mm. saying, CBM block them. They put even peer in them that they are the one who will decide who, who will be the executive secretary or the DDM. JJJ the, the, the uh, support make a Honorable Gudaje Kazauri come back tomorrow. Say, nay. Yeah. Yeah. Those, uh, those in favor say, yeah. Yeah. Those again say, who? The no, 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 the, let's appreciate Honorable Godaji Kazaudi. Um, Honorable sir, we won't beg you yes. because it's not day easy yes, to keep somebody like you for four hours plus. May God Almighty continue to bless you. Shama, I can stay 10 hours in the issue of this country. Allah, please let's appreciate him. I am, I don't have, I'm not a member now. I'm on my own. Mm. I never represent anybody now. I represent Nigerian people to mm. fight for mm. their mm. For freedoms and mm. for what the, the wealth. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. And inshallah, this country, inshallah, this country will settle because I, I can see people are suffering. Oh, yeah. Finally, mm. I want to tell Nigerians appreciate and to respect the director general of the state security service the dg dss for the protection he is giving me mm. Mm. he even asks me if i need more officers to protect me he's ready to mm. so let's appreciate the dg dss secondly The, His Excellency, the Governor of uh, Yahya Bello, mm -hmm. Koji State. Koji State. He purposely called me and gave me bulletproof car. Mm. Oh. Even yesterday, after program, somebody called me. He say, "Say Yahya Bello, the first tenure you no try, but they say this time around, say Yahya Bello is trying." in terms of security in terms of healthcare delivery and other place uh, or other t other achievements let's appreciate he it he gave me bulletproof he told me that this type of assignment you are doing is for the nation and you are in danger mm. those people that you are pursuing mm. they can they easily put, hurt you yes. but i see you with ordinary car mm. he gave me seven series bmw bulletproof mm. which is outside oh. now. <laughs> May God Almighty continue. Secondly, you, Andy Uba mm. and Ibo Man, mm. he called me secretly. Mm. He told me, I am, I am in support. You know, be secret again as you don't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> he told me, I'm in support of what you are doing to this nation. Mm. He gave me Range Rover Bulletproof. Ah, ah. Honorable. Honor. 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 So these three people, for this my struggle, I have to tell the Nigerians 
that there is people that they are in support of, of this, this fight yes and sir. they are giving me cover mm. lastly is president aswaju i told you from the beginning when i st we started this investigation you briefed him every day in the night i used to go to his house and brief him <laughs> and sometime he left every people to go only me and him mm. and he directed me he directed me to photocopy all this document that we are doing to do a pile for him so that he will be ready before he became a president. Mm. So he is ready. I, I know when I am telling him his face, if you look at his face, like he will cry when he had the trillions missing. Mm. So all this, my investigation, he is encouraging me. Mm. He, he, Let's appreciate uh, the... So the, the present president